what's going on everybody today we're going to take a look at a open source free AI tool for creating music we can do this with text prompts that we feed to this application and again it's open source so we can create unlimited music this current model can do up to two minutes per track and in a future video I'll probably show you how to get around that so you can create even longer tracks but for the focus of today's video, we're going to look at how to install this locally. So again, you can use this as much as you want. It's open source. It's free. All right, guys. So this is the Music Gen model from Meta. They released this as open source not that long ago. They have another model for, uh, it's called Audio Gen, where you can do sound effects. I'll do another video to show you guys how to set that up. But today we're going to focus on the music portion. So just as an example, I've already set this up. Um, I just fed it a simple prompt, lo-fi chill beat for studying with Japanese flutes. Here's what it sounds like. So pretty cool. I mean, you can get way more creative. Um, I think the more descriptive you are with instruments, uh, tempo, style, the setting, the ambience, things like that, it will be more creative. Um, so yeah, you got to play with it. There's sites out there that have different prompts to to help you, kind of guide you along the way. Anyways, main focus today is getting it installed. So let's jump right into that. First thing you guys are going to need is Anaconda. This is also totally free. If you don't have it, just head over to anaconda.com slash download, get that downloaded. You will need an NVIDIA GPU. At least that's how I've set mine up. Um, if you don't have one, maybe do some research to see if you can run it without it. But if you do have an NVIDIA GPU, just continue to follow along. All right, so the next thing you're going to need is the CUDA toolkit for NVIDIA. Uh, I'm running 11.8, so if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, get the 11.8 to download. Again, if you want to try to use a newer one, you'll probably have to do a little research. Uh, this is what worked for me. And the last thing you're going to need is the command for PyTorch. So I'll give you guys all these links, but if you go to this exact URL, this will give you the command to install uh, the PyTorch and the requisites for that within your Anaconda environment. So you just basically follow along. You want the stable release. You're on Windows. It's going to be a Conda package. The language is Python. And then again, I'm running CUDA. I'm running the CUDA 11.8 toolkit for NVIDIA, so I went with CUDA 11.8 here. And what that does is it'll generate whatever you select here, it'll generate the correct command for you to run in the Anaconda window. So this will make a little more sense once we get in there. So let's go ahead and start our Conda environment. So what you guys are going to do is open an Anaconda prompt. Once you install it, you just click on start and search for Anaconda and it should pop up and say Anaconda prompt. You're just going to go ahead and click that and it'll open this little Anaconda prompt shell. All right, so the first thing that we need to do within Anaconda is well you can do this from anaconda but i would recommend creating a working directory so i will go ahead and do that so i'll make a directory i'm just going to do right on the c drive call it audiocraft 5 i've done this a few times now so i'm up to five and then cd or change directory into that new working directory that we created so now we're in the audiocraft 5 directory and now we're going to create the conda environment and tell it what version of Python. So that command is conda create dash in and then the environment name will be AC5 and then we're going to tell it the version of Python. So Python equals 3.9. This is the recommended version to run with AudioGen. So it'll take a second and it'll get that environment created. And it's going to install all of these prerequisite packages. We're going to say yes. The nice thing about Conda, if you guys haven't used Anaconda, is it takes care of a lot of the takes care of a lot of the uh, version dependencies with Python. Um, so yeah, definitely use Anaconda for this. And then you're going to go Conda activate, which is going to activate that environment. So you can see right here, you can just copy it from here. Conda activate, and now that'll activate the environment. So now we see our prompt change from base to AC5, which is the name of our new Anaconda environment. 
So now you have an active Conda environment. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to clone the um, audio craft from GitHub. So this is the command for that, git clone, dash dash recursive, and then the URL, which is https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash Facebook research forward slash audiocraft.git. And that's going to pull that down. And next thing we need to do is CD into that directory audiocraft. So now we're within that uh, directory that was created when we cloned the git. And now you're going to need to install a package called ffmpeg. So conda install ffmpeg. And while that's working, let's head over to this. And we're going to get this command that we got to install the PyTorch in requisites. So get that copy down from the pytorch.org site. And we need to say yes here to install all these packages. That'll take a second. Now that that's done, let's run our PyTorch install command. All right, guys, that step took a while, but it's ready to proceed by installing all the packages now. So just hit yes and let this do its thing. Alright guys, you can probably safely ignore this error. I don't think you'll get it. I already had Torch installed. But let's go ahead and proceed. This is the last command and this is just going to bring up the Music Gen app. If you want to also have a public URL, you can do dash dash share. If you only want to run the local instance, um, you can take that out. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay, so here's our local URL. So if we click on this, it should bring up our uh, music gen instance locally. Let's try that. So there we go. That's our local instance of it. You see the URL. And then here's a public. This is because I did the dash dash share. So if you wanted to be able to give this to a friend or something like that, or maybe you just wanted to be able to use it somewhere else, you could access this. Uh, it's still going to leverage the resources on your computer to create these files. But yeah, just know that this is an option. All right, guys, I know that was a lot, but you only have to do that once. So now that we have it all set up, I'm going to show you guys how you can just spin this right back up again without having to go through all those steps. And by the way, I'm going to give you all those commands if I haven't already said that. So don't worry about jotting those all down or anything like that. Um, so now that you have it installed, you can spin that right back up by going to your anaconda shell again. So let's just look for anaconda, anaconda prompt, click on that, let me drag that over. And then there's just a couple commands we need to run to get that going again. So we need to reactivate the conda environment. So that's conda activate and then the name of that environment you created. And then CD into that directory. So you're gonna change directories into that directory you created. And now that we're in there, all we need to do is run the command to get this going. And that'll take a second. And once that's running, it'll give us our uh, URLs to access the environment. And you notice I use the dash dash share here. That's going to give us that public URL that's good for 72 hours. And then the local URL. If you don't need a public or you don't want a public URL for this, just take off the dash dash share and you'll just get the local one. So now that that's running, we should be able to click this and there it is. So now we have our music gen tab open and we can try to create a file. Uh, just for the sake of this video, I won't use the large model, but again, usually you get better results using that large model. 
it just takes a little longer. So let's just do a, a quick one here. Um, I don't know, another lo-fi beat. Lo-fi chill beat with flutes and synth pads used for studying and chilling. Super creative, right? I mean, you guys are probably way more creative than me. We're just going to do 10 seconds for the sake of this video. Hit submit. Again, the first time you run it, each time you bring your environment back online, it'll take a second to load that model, and then it'll get right into this. And if you notice, look at my GPU. It was chilling down here at, you know, 5-10%. Jumps up to almost 100. So it's cranking using that GPU. Um, when I installed it again, I did hit some errors with the packages. I think they're just conflicts, and it didn't use the GPU. It just cranked my CPU. So I guess that's proof that you can run this without a GPU. It just took a little bit, well, quite a bit longer. So instead of like 10, 15 seconds to create it, it took like a couple minutes to create a short track. So it does look like you can do it on CPU only though. So for those of you out there who don't have a GPU, that's good news for you if you want to use this. All right, guys, that should do it. Let's see what we came up with. I don't expect anything great because this wasn't... Uh, <laughs> Too creative. Not too bad. I mean, not, not the greatest thing I've ever heard, but not too bad. And again, that was just using the default melody model. Um, use that large one at least a couple times to see what type of output you get. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. I just wanted to show you again how you can quickly... Uh, spin this back up because when you close the anaconda shell that is going to kill the session and this will no longer work so you have to get that anaconda environment back up and i'll give you all those commands including the ones to um, quickly just spin it back up with a couple commands there all right guys i know this was a lot of information if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment let me know uh, if you like this kind of content guys let me know i'm thinking about doing a mini series on uh, open source AI stuff, the free stuff out there. I'll probably do some voice cloning demos, um, maybe some animation of avatars or faces where we can make, you know, celebrities talk or AI created people talk. That'll make their face move while we clone their voice. Um, yeah, just some fun stuff to mess around with. Let me know what you guys think. If you stuck around to the end, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends. Drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all the support, guys. Have a great day. Have a great Thanksgiving. Until the next one, take care, guys.